Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, mama. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, mama. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, mama. Lucky we love you. Lucky we miss you. Today we love you. We miss you. Lucky we love you. Lucky we miss you. Today we love you. We miss you. Lucky we love you. Lucky we miss you. Dube, we love you. We miss you. This coming Saturday, the 18th of October, it'll be exactly seven years since the death of Lucky Dube. The musical legend was the country's biggest reggae artist and also well-known internationally. In 25 years, he released over 22 albums and produced hits such as I've Got You Babe, Remember Me, and how can we not forget Prisoner. Dube was murdered in Rosettenville in Johannesburg in 2007. To celebrate his life and his talent, we are joined by his manager at the time of his death, uh, Lina Mochuele. Good to have you. Thank you very much, Lina, for being with us here on the program. Thank you very much, Leanne. Yeah. Uh, and good morning to your viewers. Thank you. Um, you know, most, most of us know how talented Lucky Dubé was, but you had a personal relationship with him. What, what was he like personally? Lucky like was a straight talker, a humorous person, God-fearing. Off stage, he would be a totally different person. Yeah. A loving father, a motivator, a, a mentor to many of us, um, and also a very spiritual, grounded person. Yeah. That's the lucky to be that I know. And, and, and when did you first become his manager? I, I worked for Gallo Record Company. That's where I met Lucky Dube. But when I resigned in 2003, he requested that I stay on, okay. come and, and assist him with his business. So what I used to do is I would coordinate all his business throughout the world. But then he gave me a territory to manage. Yes. And for me, that was like, wow, really, this is me. Can he really entrust me with such a huge responsibility? Yeah. It means... There is something about me that he, he really can trust that, you know, you will deliver. Yeah, yeah. That's when I started managing Lucky Dube in 2003 when I left Gallo Record Company. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it must have been, you must have had a very close relationship with him, especially that he was requesting that you stay on with him. Um, you know, just if, if, if you have to look back at some memories and some time that you shared with him, mm -hmm. what stands out for you? What stands out for me is, is that Ulaki wouldn't waste a minute. He wouldn't waste his breath on senseless talk. He wasn't a person that would chit chat and, and not build you as a person. Mm. He was always trying to say, you know, let's look at life. Let's let's talk about life issues. Let's let's what's your what's your take on this? Yeah. You know, let's talk political, let's talk spiritual things let's talk god you know yeah. that's um the things that i remember you, you miss with. those conversations yes. and you miss those insights yes. tell us about his last performance his last performance was in makufe uh, in 2007. wow and, and getting that was just, together we, we just finished with makufe yes, now it yes. just shows you time travels sure yes. it's madness yes. so that was sorry i interrupted you tell us about that last performance it was a very difficult deal to conclude I remember the morning that they were supposed to travel to Makufe, I couldn't travel with them. Yeah. And our monies were not in the bank. And he stood and said, uh, should I pack up and go back home? And I said, no, please. Uh, I tried to speak to the promoters to say, you know what, this is a business deal. You know, we, this is how we work. He would never go and take a deal when these people can't afford. Or, you know, the contract says, so people need to stick to the contract. So they stayed for three hours yeah. until the money hit the bank. When I said, 
The man is in the bank. Now you go and perform. Now he went and yeah, performed. Yeah, yeah, and, and unfortunately, sometimes artists have to do that because mm-hmm. you know yes. you just—it's a business. It's your livelihood. If you've been stitched up so many times exactly. in life, you, learn you know you learn. Yeah, yeah, from those lessons. Now you know you talk about Makufa and some other massive festivals that that Lucky performed locally, but you know we weren't with you when he travelled internationally, mm-hmm. and you were with him. Mm-hmm. What was the reception like when Lucky Dube got on a stage uh, for his international audiences? How loved was he? How big was he overseas? It's amazing that South Africa doesn't even understand what they have lost. Yeah. Um, other parts of Africa understand. They understand more than we do. In Africa, we would have to leave the hotel at 10 for a performance in the evening because we would avoid the traffic. Um, that would be there in the roads, P- people wanting to just catch a glimpse of him, people, um, you know, giving him an honor of, a guard of honor, you know, uh, th- there were all sorts of things in Africa. He was regarded as a king, he was regarded as, you know, a, a huge icon. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, here at home, people don't understand. And, and, and this is the message that he, he used to say, to say, You know, a prophet is except in his hometown. He cannot be, if I know you to be Lian, you know, you are Lian to me and nothing else. But somebody else somewhere will give you the honor that you deserve for the reasons that you are giving them. Like his music used to heal people without him knowing. He used to bring peace to, you know, all these war-torn areas and people knew it. He was used mostly by government pre-elections and after elections, you know, just to come and calm down the, the, the people's moods. And they knew he would, able to, he would be able to do just that for them. Yeah, you know, so that's fantastic. Yeah. Amazing stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're telling me my time's up. Please, can I steal a minute? I'm going to steal one anyway. Don't, yes. You can talk to me afterwards. Can I steal two more? Okay, I'm stealing two more minutes. Um, the night he died, mm-hmm. the night he was killed. Mm-hmm. Take me back to that night for you. I was in Botswana, unfortunately. I heard the news in the morning and had to catch the next available flight back into South Africa. It was so unreal, you know. It, it was, I wanted to see it when I got home and all the way to the airport from Botswana to, to South Africa. People spoke about it and all I did was cry. Yeah. I, I cried. All I could do was cry at that uh, point in time. Yes. When I got here, I didn't want to know what happened until, you know, I was able to say, okay, now let me catch a breath what happened. Yeah. And yeah. what I heard, I couldn't believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did you hear? I mean, just remind us what happened. A uh, botched hijacking um, in front of his daughter, in front of his son. And I wanted to know more. Uh, for what? Yeah. If they couldn't take the car, why would they kill him? Mm. Especially the one guy, the, the person that shot like he was already in the car. Yeah. Um, shot him from the back. For what? He was able to take like his car. Why yeah. couldn't why, he take? Why kill him? Why kill him? Three bullets. You pumping three bullets into. I just couldn't believe it. He didn't even know it was Lucky Dube he was killing. They say they didn't know it was Lucky Dube, but you wouldn't miss no, Lucky Dube yeah. for a minute. Okay. If you walked down Small Street, you would know this is Lucky Dube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've written a book to remember him, um, Walking a Mile in Your Shoes, My Spiritual Journey with Lucky Dube. Yes. Um, tell me about the book. Where do we get this? Uh, that's not available as yet. Okay. Oh, really? So this yes. is something... Brand new? Yes, okay. it's brand new. Um, I'm self-publishing. The book will be out soon. Good. Um, we're still consolidating all the programs like the you will hear from the band members. Um, there's an album also in his honor. So we're consolidating all our efforts together so that, you know, you don't leave things lying all over the place. Yeah. We, yeah. we, you know, we, we run these things parallel so that, you know, we honor him in the manner that he should be honored. He should be honored. I see there's a website, so people can visit this website and keep it's available. Yes. Good. So it's www. 
walkingamile.co.za. You'll be able to uh, go and, I don't know, keep updated as to when this will be released. Because I think if you are a Lucky Dubé fan, you're going to want to read these, these memoirs of him. Thank you, Lena. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you for sharing your memories. And we can only feel your loss. We really can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Truth, truth, truth in the world. Truth, 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 truth in the world. Truth, 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 truth in the world. No truth in this world. No truth in this world. Well